In this video, we take a look at the importance of being able to identify simple errors in an algorithm and then suggesting fixes. There are two main types of errors you need to be able to identify at GCSE, and they are syntax errors and logic errors. So syntax errors are errors which break the grammatical rules of the programming language. And that means they actually stop the programming language from being run and translated. These sorts of errors are much easier to spot as your program simply won't compile and the integrated development environment you're using is more than likely going to prompt you with the line where the error is and even give you a possible suggestion for fixing it. Logic errors are errors which produce an unexpected output. Now on their own, they won't stop the program from running. The program will just behave in an odd way. If your program is free of syntax errors, but has logic errors in, then these can be harder to spot. And you have to carefully work through your program code to figure out where it is you've introduced a logical error. Now, we're going to go over this in a little bit more detail in another video later on called How to Identify Syntax and Logic Errors. For now, pause this video and study this piece of code. It has an error in it. Can you one, spot what the error is, two, state if it's a syntax or logic error, and three, suggest how the code should be refined to remove the error? So did you spot it? The error is located here and we're missing a type conversion or casting operation to convert a string entered by the user to an integer to store in the variable your underscore age. This would be a syntax error as the code would fail to translate this line and wouldn't run. And here we see the fix. Simply adding the word int would remove the syntax error. Here's another. Again, pause the video, can you spot the error, state if it's a syntax or logic error, and suggest how the code should be refined to remove the error. So this time the error is here. We're using a less than or equals to operator when what we should have used was a greater than or equals to operator. We can see the fix here and it's tiny. Of course, this is a logic error. The program would run perfectly fine if this was the only error, but the behavior would be wrong. Such small typos like this are quite common and can be difficult to spot. You would need to carefully work through your code, applying logic to each line.